On the 5th of June 2024, a new business opened in the centre of Chew Magna. It's the brainchild of local man Mike Goff. So this was a, a complete renovation, and originally this was a Baptist chapel. It was a saddlery and a carpenter's workshop, I think, and Russ Peters tells me he's got a picture with a horse looking that, back, that's out, right. back, back a, out of the building. Yes, that's right. So it's a good old building. Yeah. So we're yeah, pleased that we've breathed new yeah. life into yeah. that. Tell me your plans. I mean, it isn't just to sell wine, is it? It, it is to sell wine, of course. Um, but it's also a bit of a social space without it being a bar in any way. It's a shop where you can buy, you can you can buy a bottle or a glass, and you can and you can sit and enjoy it and try it. So, uh, but we're also planning to run lots of events. So, uh, whether they are open events where people can book in online and come and use this space, or indeed the lovely room upstairs. Ooh, can we have a look in a minute? Yeah, we can. Yeah, right. Or a so um, you'd have that as a private function, possibly? Yeah, I think if people want their own gathering, if there's eight, ten, twelve that sort of number, then they can have their own space. It's a new thing for me, a retail business like this. Because you were in finance, is that right? I was in finance for, for 42 years, okay. man and boy. Um, so I'm pretty good with numbers, but this is a different thing, which is what I wanted. And it's a bit of a risk, do you think? Yeah, of course. Everything's a risk. It would have been a risk if I'd stopped working and not done anything. Um, it's a risk starting a business and pouring money into it. Um, but I prefer this risk mm. than playing golf four what, times what a week. What this, to me, says, this, it adds to the quality of this village. If it does that, then mm. I'll be very pleased. Yeah. You know, I think if people... And they have been very complimentary coming in. They really, really, yeah. they really like it. Well, if you it. set the right tone... Exactly. You know, and, I'm and as long as it's not too expensive, because that's... You know, well, it won't be too expensive, yeah. Yeah. but, uh, you know, that's up for debate. But there's wine here at every price point. Mm. There's wines at uh, under £10. I just need to try and get the best quality I can at that price point. Mm -hmm. And also, I think wines need to be authentic. If they come from a certain part or a certain country or a certain region, they need to taste the way they should yeah. taste. Yeah. So yeah. that's my job, to make sure that the wine's in decent shape yeah. and to tell the jokes and to tell the stories and to, you know, I use the word educate very, very carefully yeah, yeah. because people know no, quite people a lot about wine. People love to learn. Look, people love yeah. to learn stuff. And, um, you, um, know, you know, it's such a fast We subject. could end up the village of wine connoisseurs. Well, wouldn't that be great? That would be great. That, that, that would plenty be marvelous. of people with enough money to do it. A couple of thousand wine disciples. That would be... I, I would be on a moped. Pied Piper of wine. I, I would be on a moped driving around Italy. Yes, without a doubt. You might have a coach. Yes. A coach load. Well, trips. Let's not rule out trips, yeah, you know. Yeah, nice. Who knows? So we're going to be open Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays from about 10.30 in the morning to about 7 in the evening. Um, um, events might be a little later, so they might be seven till nine. We're not going to be late opening. It's not a bar in that sense. Um, and we may open on the odd Sunday, especially if somebody wants an event or mm. Some, mm. something to do. So yeah, we'll brilliant. keep it reasonably flexible. But Mondays and Tuesdays, big stock taking. Uh, we're also delivering wine all the way around the Chew Valley oh, okay. and beyond. You know, I took the um, advanced exams in wine 20 years ago when I was miserable about financial services and it took me You've been miserable for 20 years yeah it took me 20 years then to extract myself properly and I've redone them all and so make sure I'm tuned in to, wow. to, the, to wow. the knowledge side of it yeah. however it is a huge subject but it's a big passion project for you really, it is yeah. it is yeah and yeah. that, 20 years in the planning, really. I mean, I don't, well, can you ask, how long have you been in the village? I've been in the village. I grew up around here, then we moved away with jobs and things. Oh. Moved back in 2004, and we've had a few properties. But yeah. Uh, So, yeah, 20 years is... So, when you say you grew up around here... What, yeah, where, where I went that? to Chew Valley School. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I didn't know uh, And uh, I grew up in Dundry, actually. My dad built a house in Dundry, so that's where wow. I grew up. So, I'm a local lad. So, you're very attached to this place. I am. We all felt pretty lucky, but Chew Valley School was very different then. It was quite a closed community and a lot of farmers, sons and daughters. It was quite a sort of, you know, an, okay. an old-fashioned school in a way. One of my um, teachers walked past the other day and I, uh, he came in and looked around. John Dainty. John Dainty. He's a history teacher. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, lovely. Yeah. Now, there's, there's some good teachers and, uh, yeah. 
Lovely, well let's, let's do a little wander. We've also got the, the very, very fine cider from the Newt in nice. the fridge there. So nice. This is a slight difference. Me and do you, do you try and source locally or is that not possible? I'm, going, really? I'm going to be yeah. uh, dealing with the local vineyards and when they've got things to offer. Let me show you the other room that we have. And Ooh. this is a pretend... Oh, I mean, this is nice. We, we need a big table. Yeah, We yeah, can't yeah. get one up the stairs easily, but we're working You can on build one up here. We're going to have to build one up here. We're not going to be cooking food, but we can organise food to, to go with the wine. We just need to get this table up here to finish the room off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is a lovely room. It's a lovely room. Yeah, and it's got... And especially these long summer evenings, you can imagine. The view. So, I mean, that's the main the tasting areas we have a, an old sort of kitchen that we're refurbing in in there yeah i am quite passionate about the idea that properties like this in villages remain commercial properties yeah. i know yeah. that it's, if i had a pound for every time somebody said you could get a flat up there you could do this you could do that then fine but i think as soon as it's the like it's life, life blood of the, yes. the village, then things well, change. Plus, the other thing is, when you've got a private property, that yeah. requires cars, sure. servicing, yeah, indeed. all that. Indeed. I mean, you do yeah. too, but you're, yeah. you're part of the lifeblood of the village yeah. now. I'd like to think so. But, yeah. you know, so we'll see how we go with it. And you might note the interesting oh. artwork on the... Uh, oh, yeah. well, well, I'm just going to so, so, so any prospective clients know there's a beautiful bathroom, particularly with, the, with the, the female's head removed. <laughs> <laughs> no comment whatsoever. Um, well, just a, a slight joke. But you might want to get a picture of this, Pete. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, that's, well, it's, that's, gonna, that's a standard thing in the village. It's going to be a mind your head experience. Yeah, I know I've grazed my forehead many times. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Well, how exciting. We're right? opening the door today. I've got some events that are being booked in from mm. people. Brilliant. And we'll start to schedule a whole list of events that people can sign yeah. up to. Yeah. So it's an evolution, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll see how we go. But we really do look forward to people coming in. Brilliant. What does it mean to you to belong to this valley? Well, that's a very good question. Um, being in this building, when, when we've been refurbing it, we've been here all day, every day, with the guys at uh, Alistair who's built the wine shelves and all the other people that have helped and just seeing the movement of people around the village, particularly the families going to and from school. Um, the traffic jams are even entertaining as well. But um, well, when you're not in them. I think that the, the Tube Magna in particular is a bit of a hub village. So it draws people in and long may that continue. Um, and generally, it's a really nice community. People are kind to each other. People look out for each other. And, you know, uh, my friend Phil Hammond will tell us that that is very good for one's health. If you've yes. got um, emotional ballast, I think he calls mm. it, mm. from other people around you, then it's got to be a very people good thing. People say hello. Yeah, they, they do. They chat. They, they interact. Do. Don't they? Less so. We have to work on that. We don't want that disappearing. No, but, no. Uh, yeah, just but in interaction general, with people, yeah, young and old. Different generations. Definitely. I actually so. love the school, school kids often say hello. Which yes. is a brilliant thing. Yeah, you know, they're absolutely. not stuck on their phone all the no, time. No, quite. So we're all very lucky. Mm. Uh, and we tend to, maybe we take it for granted sometimes, but it's, it's a very lovely place. Mm. Isn't and it? another important question. Are dogs allowed? Dogs are allowed. <laughs> yeah, I love, I'm a dog owner myself. I've got a lovely Harley. We walk every day and every evening. They are allowed. Um, if they're covered in mud or some other substance... It, I might have reserved the right to, uh, to, yes. to tie them they, up outside. Got, and, and socially but they've got to be... certainly not, we're not, we're not um, yeah. excluding. No, 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 no. Especially if they're no. lovely and well-behaved. Absolutely. Certainly. Mike's keen to mention a couple of people who've been a big help. There are people that I need to thank because it's been quite a journey so far. And some people really step up and stand out. Alistair Hetherington has been absolutely amazing with his work and his preciseness in building these shelves, which, mm. let's face it, are taking a lot of weight. He's still losing sleep over the idea. <laughs> but um, they yeah, are... You're coming in the morning and he's, he is 50 been, bottles on the floor. He's been fantastic. And, um, and then Katie. Katie, who... Katie Halls, who is a brand specialist. The colours, the logos, the it's website look and feel. Yeah. Yeah. All of that packaged together, she's been amazing. So, and um, she's sitting over here. <laughs> With Katie's help, Mike looks set for a great success. Whether it's for that special occasion or a good bottle of wine, you know where to go.